Google and Samsung have put great sensors on their phones. The front camera on the Note 8 is 8 megapixels, it has an f1.7 aperture and can shoot video at up to 1440p at 30 frames per second. On the back we'll find its dual camera system. Both cameras are 12 megapixels. The wide angle and telephoto cameras have apertures of f1.7 and f2.4 respectively. The telephoto lens allows for 2 times optical zoom and depth effect pictures. The Note 8 can shoot 4K video at up to 30 frames per second, 1080 at up to 60 frames per second, and 720p at up to 240 frames per second. Also, both cameras have optical image stabilization. The front camera on the Pixel 2 XL is 8 megapixels. It has an aperture of f2.4 and can record video at up to 1080p at 30 frames per second. On the back, we can see that Google has only put one camera on its new flagship. This camera is 12.2 megapixels with an aperture of f1.8. The camera has both electronic and optical image stabilization and can shoot 4K at up to 30 frames per second, 1080p at up to 120 frames per second, and 720p at up to 240 frames per second. Since there isn't a second camera, there is no optical zoom, but through AI, machine learning, and dual pixel phase detection, Google's new flagship can take high quality depth effect pictures on both the front and back cameras. When looking at still images, both cameras seem to be able to pick up around the same level of detail. In shots where the sky was in frame, the Note 8 did a better job of maintaining the blues. The pixel shots appeared to slightly wash out the sky. Also, in some of these instances, the Note 8 could get better perspectives on shots due to its 2 times optical zoom functionality. It can get closer to the subject without degradation of quality. To get closer to the subject on the Pixel 2 XL, you'll have to digitally zoom, which does not maintain the image quality. However, in good lighting conditions, the digital zoom does okay. There were some shots where the Pixel 2 XL just took the better photo. But there were other times where the Pixel 2's image temperature was so cool that the color looked unnatural to the point where white started to look like blues. In this shot, the Note 8 was able to portray the colors more accurately. The Pixel 2 XL seemed to brighten the image too much. When the sky was involved, sometimes the Note 8 captured the dark blue of the sky better, but other times the Pixel 2 XL was able to capture the gradient of the sky better. All in all, when the lighting conditions got worse, both cameras still performed very nicely. You shouldn't have to worry about having perfect lighting with either of these phones. Colors look more natural on the Note 8's video, and both cameras are able to pick up a tremendous amount of detail. But the Pixel 2 XL's video stabilization is so much better than that on the Note 8's. The shakiness of the Note 8's image distracts you from the image quality, while the electronic and optical image stabilization on the Pixel 2 XL makes the video look like it was shot on a professional gimbal. The Pixel 2 XL takes the win in video because of just how phenomenal its image stabilization is. The Pixel 2 XL's videos are so much smoother than the Note 8's that it doesn't even seem like I was using the same rig to shoot them.